Welcome, faithful viewers. I am Zechariah, the King's Seer, from charming seaside Pescara. The relaxed people of Italy hope that your pure longing for God will be the lighthouse throughout your spiritual journey. Previously, we looked at the vegetarian prophet Isaiah's prediction of the Lion and the Lamb, also known as the Peaceable Kingdom. Today, we'll explore further evidence of Christ's determination to bring peace not just for humans, but also the animals. Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. The Essene Gospels show that love for the animals was an integral part of Lord Jesus' teachings. Knowest thou not that God in the beginning gave to man the fruits of the earth for food, and did not make him lower than the ape, or the ox, or the horse, or the sheep, so low, that he should kill and eat the flesh and blood of his fellow creatures? Jesus Christ, the Gospel of the Hebrews. According to Irish Reverend Gideon Jasper Richard Ousley, it was at the Council of Nicaea in the 4th century that correctors cut out of the Gospels with minute care certain teachings of our Lords to please the Roman Emperor at the time, namely those against flesh-eating, such as accounts of our Lord's interference on several occasions to save animals from ill-treatment. Lection 21 Jesus rebuketh cruelty to a horse. Lection 24. Jesus denounceth cruelty, healeth the sick. Lection 28. Jesus releases the rabbits and pigeons. Lection 38. Jesus condemneth the ill treatment of animals, etc. Accounts from the Gospel of the Hebrews. The Bible still has some evidence of Jesus' compassion and intervention for the animals. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? And not one of them is forgotten before God. What man of you, if he has one sheep and it falls into a pit on the Sabbath, will not lay hold of it and lift it out? Jesus Christ, Holy Bible. In the temple we found people selling cattle, sheep and doves, and the money changers seated at their tables. Making a whip of cords, he drove all of them out of the temple. He also poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. He told those who were selling the doves, Take these things out of here. Stop making my father's house a marketplace. Gospel of John, Holy Bible. This well-known incident of cleansing the temple in Jerusalem was actually Christ's act of animal liberation, says American scholar Keith Akers in his book, The Lost Religion of Jesus, Simple Living and Nonviolence in Early Christianity. Other early gospels also mention this incident. And Jeshua, Jesus, said unto them, Thy hands are dripping with blood of innocent creatures of God. Take these things with you, and return no more, and make not my father's house a house of business. And Jeshua would not allow any man 
to carry any vessel of blood through the temple, nor would he allow any animals to be slain for sacrifice. Jacene Humane Gospel of Christ. In stopping the animal sacrifices, Lord Jesus was knowingly fulfilling the Old Testament's prophecy. You will put an end to sacrifice and offering. I am come to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood. And if ye cease not offering and eating of flesh and blood, the wrath of God shall not cease from you. Jesus Christ, the Gospel of the Hebrews. As proof that Christ did preach against animal cruelty, history shows us that the long-standing practice of animal sacrifices really was abandoned soon after Jesus' time. In addition, a number of early Christian leaders were also outspoken vegetarians. We, the Christian leaders, practice abstinence from the flesh of animals to subdue our bodies. St. John Chrysostom One can hardly have virtue if one enjoys meat meals and feasts. St. Basil the Great Our Lord Jesus called himself truth and not habit, meat gluttony and wine drink. Tertullian, father of Latin Christianity. spirit of compassion exists between Jesus Christ and Supreme Master Ching Hai. Both as children rescued birds that had been injured by their peers. The two masters tenderly fed stray kittens and helped other animals. The parallels go on and on. All the beasts of the field show respect unto him, and all the birds of the heaven took no fear in him and even the fishes of the sea rejoice at the presence of Him. I see some birds who come to visit me even in the hotel, you know, in the front of my window. They just come and love me so much that they even walk into my room. <laughs> I go on my bed and uh, let me feed them from my hands. That time, I remember it was in 1988, the I the I 我们就有十几个同修而且跳了一阵子的时间一个大修行人
，嗯，他们都围在我旁边，而且小特别 baby 呢，小小的哦，来那边每天吃了，哇，整个水啊都是满满，他们那那种上来吃的那种圆圆的，圆圆圆圆的。I say unto you, so be ye humane and kind, one to another, and to all the creatures of God. 
publishing her poetry and best-selling books on the loving animals. And steering the conducive programming on Supreme Master Television. Her determined efforts are an extension of those of Lord Jesus Christ, for she too comes to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood. I love this world, and I love all beings on this planet. But the things they do to each other and to the animals is really, really cause so much pain and suffering for my heart, for me. And I'm working hard so that maybe one day all this won't happen again. But the fact that everyone who listens to her thinks twice about ever eating an animal wearing an animal or using an animal frivolously and may indeed go out and rescue animals. It's a wonderful blessing to have Supreme Master's benevolence for animals. She is obviously a greatly self-realized soul uh, who can inspire mankind. I'm particularly thrilled by her messages of veganism because after all it is the best way to save the planet, save ourselves, save the animals and she did it again today more than anybody I know. As an American Indian, the Red Race spent time honoring the animals and speaking with them. It's like the animals know that she's the one that we need to communicate with, to connect with because she's going to send the message out for us humans to pay attention to the animals. But ask the animals and they will instruct you. Ask the birds of the air and they will tell you. Or speak to the earth and it will teach you. Let the fish of the sea inform you. Book of Job, Holy Bible. Sometimes even insects, they give you messages, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes if I'm late, I don't go out quickly enough. <laughs> Maybe the fly come in and tell me, time to go. <laughs> yeah. Yes, when my wife is here, she's out. Oh, yeah. And then, or oh, the spider, huh? Oh. Yeah, sometimes drop right in front of me. And then he carry a message for me. Habit. She helps me uh, to pass down messages from Hermit sometimes. When I meditate too deeply, I don't aware of the next one, so I don't want to get up to go and get the next one. And they both wake me up, take me out of Samadhi to go to the next level. Or she just go and lay down there and bark, lay right there and then bark or whine until I come. I thought something wrong with her. I went and I said, what's wrong, what's wrong? And then she said, nothing, and then she left. She let me stay there. As soon as I sit there, she left. Many times, yeah? Yes. She always go and lie in the, in the, in the spot where there's a connection. And then whenever I say, thank you, good girl, she yeah, so happy, happy, <laughs> waking her tail, smiling so big, and kissing me all over. And then she left. <laughs> You know, into her house or to her, her bed. She only did her job. Yeah, always. If you can hear them, it's fantastic because they can see everything. Some like the swan, he can see, wow, about 5,000 years backward. Something saved me a lot of time. <laughs> I don't have to go to the second level to check out in a bibliotheque, in the library. Yeah. 
She just tell me straight. If something I need to know about somebody, I don't have to go check. She go check for me. I like a flat. I don't have to wait for next time or I call you back in <laughs> an hour. <laughs> no, no, no. Immediate. Yeah. For example, like that. You know, they are tr tremendous help to mankind. They are like the physical angel for humankind. We have angels running all over the planet in the form of all kinds of animals. For example, we watch on SMTV, there was a dog, a stray dog from nowhere, the name Hero, remember? And there was a woman who has an accident and lay on the roadside, and he just come and pack her, you know, drag her to the, the, the highway, uh, edge of the highway, so that everybody can see her. You know that, and a stranger from nowhere. If it's not an angel, what is it then? A Philippine man whose boat was overturned at sea was helped by about 30 dolphins who came to his aid, helping him through rough waters to the shore, while a two 10-meter long wells guarded him on either side. In Vietnam, people built some small uh, temple along the coast, many of them, to worship the whales because they want to show gratitude to the whales. Many of the boat people have been rescued by whales from the stormy sea or from a capsized boat. The whales rescue them in number. And these are the true story. The animals tell me they've finished suffering and they tell me that in the future humans won't kill them because other humans will form a revolution of kindness and they're very excited about that and when I was writing these words bluebirds and hummingbirds came into my field and they wanted to thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for her tireless work in creating change and awareness for animal kind. They say this is so important and that truly a new light is shining on earth now. Those dim, dark, dark ages are behind us. It's just taking humans a bit of time to catch up. So we must continue walking in compassion and kindness and this unconditional love and peace will lead us all to a true heaven on earth. For all shall know me, and I will break the bow and arrow of the hunter, and the sword of the slaughterer, and all the instruments of bloodshed will vanish from the earth, even forever. And I will surely make all of them my creatures to lie down in safety and in peace. Jesus Christ, the Essene Humane Gospel of Christ. Examples of modern day laws abolishing hunting and slaughtering. Dog slaughter banned in largest Korean dog meat market. Dog meat trade banned in Hanoi, Aulak, also known as Vietnam. Bear farms banned in Aulak, also known as Vietnam. Sport hunting banned in Colombia. Seal hunting banned in South Africa. US banned commercial fishing in entire Arctic Ocean. Bear hunting banned in British Columbia, Canada. Countries that banned trophy hunting. Botswana, Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda, Zambia. Countries with fur bans. Austria, Belgium, Brazil, Croatia, Czech Republic, Denmark, Germany, Japan, Luxembourg, New Zealand, Norway, Republic of Macedonia, Serbia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, UK, 
International Whaling Commission banned commercial whaling worldwide. Bear hunting banned in New Jersey, USA. Baby seal hunt banned in northern Russia. Ritual animal slaughter banned in Belgium. All animal sacrifice banned in India. Temple animal sacrifice banned in Sri Lanka. Dolphin hunting banned in Bihar, India. Shark fishing banned in Maldives. Wildlife hunting banned in Johor, Malaysia. Wildlife hunting banned in Albania. Wildlife hunting banned in India. Dog and cat slaughter banned in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Dog and cat slaughter banned in Hong Kong. Dog and cat slaughter banned in Austria. Dog slaughter banned in the Philippines. Countries that banned shark finning. Canada, Chile, European Union, Palau, Taiwan, also known as Formosa, USA. Fox hunting banned in England, Scotland and Wales. Sport hunting banned in Costa Rica. Wildlife hunting banned in some Venezuelan states. Migratory bird hunting banned in Saudi Arabia. Pigeon shooting banned in Maryland, USA. US cattle rancher Howard Lyman turned vegan. German couple Jan Herdes and Karen Muck turned animal farm into sanctuary. US rancher Rene King Sonnen turned farm into sanctuary. US chef butcher Aaron Adams went vegan. Israeli dairy farmer Michelle went vegan. US dairy farmer Chris Mills went vegan, converted farm to animal sanctuary. US cattle and dairy farmer Harold Brown went vegan, helps peers transition to crop raising. US couple Carol and Julian Pierce turned goat dairy farm into sanctuary. US couple Sherry Azell and Jim Vanderslees turned dairy farm into sanctuary. US dairy farmer Susanna Romatz went vegan, makes vegan cheese. US pig and sheep farmer Bob Comas went vegan, converted to vegetable farming. Canadian cattle farmers Mike Lanigan, Edith Arabash turned ranch into sanctuary, became organic vegetable farmers, etc, etc, etc. These are only a few examples. For more information, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash GCA. The cow will feed with the bear, their young will lie down together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox. Prophecy of Isaiah, Holy Bible. If all human beings become vegetarian, then the whole atmosphere of the earth will change. The magnetic field will change. The destiny of all inhabitants will change, for the better. And the animals will also stop eating meat, and truly the lambs will lay at the side of the lions, as it is mentioned in the Bible. If all people turn to vegetarianism, the animals are also a reflection of our consciousness. So if we change into a higher consciousness, then the animals will also change. Remember in Yogananda's uh, book, The Autobiography of a Yogi? Yes. He recounted the lion that don't eat meat at all. She even refused meat when somebody offered it to her because she stayed with her master who was a yogi and who is a vegetarian. So, if more people are vegetarian, the atmosphere will change into a higher level of compassion and love. Then the animal will also be affected and they will change their nature. <laughs> That day might come soon. <laughs> Be positive. Trust ye then in the prophet's words, for all said shall be done. The wolf shall lie down with the lamb, and no harm shall come to any of my people, because I am in thy midst always. We are eternally grateful to the worshipped Lord Jesus Christ and all the past masters who planted the seeds of peace and blessed our world at every stage of our evolution. To the Saviour of our time, Supreme Master Ching Hai, we offer our deepest appreciation for bringing heaven on earth for all beings. May humankind treasure their merciful grace and sacrifice and strive to repay it with our grateful prayers 
and loving deeds. We would like to conclude today's program with a special song in tribute to Lord Jesus Christ with music and lyrics by Supreme Master Ching Hai. This song called, I Will Forever Love You. I will forever love you is a promise a living master will give to any of his disciples while he is alive. Forever means forever. Just like Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you till the end of the world.